Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Saturday, September 10th, 2022 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I offer the responsibility of presence to my feels. And today we have a big full moon in the sign of Pisces. And that is the best thing that you can do is offer your response of presence to whatever kind of feeling weather is coming through, uh, moving through for you with this full moon. So beyond full moons, you know, shifting our inner tides, bringing feelings up to the surface, churning our inner oceans, um, this full moon is connected to Uranus. And we know Uranus to be the liberator, agent of change. Um, it can be a trigger. So while this is positive, it is meant to help us shift, evolve, let go of what is no longer working, those triggers can be potent. And even though Uranus is feeding into the sun in a trine and uh, the moon in a sextile, which are both helpful connections, this energy still can feel, still can have its challenge. So just be aware of that round in and be willing to be present for whatever these, the churning of the oceans <laughs> brings up for you in and through this full moon. Um, it's interesting because the Sabian symbol for this full moon, it's happening at 17 degrees, is an Easter parade. And there, this brings to light like so many things within me. But one of them is, you know, Easter is in part connected to Jesus, resurrection energy. And I always connect Jesus to the Virgo Pisces energies, being that there's this mystic healer uh, entwined within the Virgo Pisces that comes up. And this may be, as we're clearing out these older energies, um, bringing forth this within ourselves. So recognizing what what part of your mystical you <laughs> are you resurrecting in this energy. And that's a little parade about it, right? <laughs> the Easter parade. Um, it also can kind of feel like life on the stage. Um, the next Sabian symbol for uh, Pisces at 18 degrees is in a gigantic tent. Villagers, I can't read my hand on handwriting. Villagers basically see a spectacular show. And between these two, like the parade and the show, it can feel kind of like life. And I think sometimes when we get to the Pisces energy, everything that's happening around us can feel so surreal, right? Like, oh, the world's a stage. That's that quote from, I think, William Shakespeare, right? All the world's a stage and play on. I don't know. Um, recognizing the unfoldings for what it is, because sometimes we can get so pulled into the drama of what is the current unfolding. But if we can see it through that vision, like of being on the stage and we are here to play our part, like play on, <laughs> play on, right? Uh, play on, play up. <laughs> so that just came through. What is that song from? No diggity, no diggity playing through. So full moon Pisces energy connecting to Uranus. Before we reach the full moon, we will also have the moon connecting into the nodes, reminding us to be focused on which direction we want to lean into. Now, while the South Node Scorpio can bring up fear energies, and we are called to hold presence for that, we can then lean into nature, lean into grounding, lean into trusting the unfolding, right? You've heard me say this so many times during this year, but this is such an important time for us to choose which energy, which direction we're really going to feed our light into at this time, our light, our energy, our focus, our everything into. That's part of this full moon as well. Um, recognizing ourselves as creators in the unfolding of this play is very important. I just did my patron group before this, and that's what kept coming forth is like, you're the visionary, you're the dreamer, you're dreaming your world into being. What are you dreaming at this time? 
remembering that with Pisces energy, remembering that with the power of focus that Virgo brings, that combination is truly otherworldly. So having our personal responsibility in that is important. Now, as we go through the day, the moon will connect to Uranus. That connection will happen at 4.51 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. So early in the day, again, we still may get some of those belated triggers coming up in and through that. Some belated lazy cat it might be a morning where you want to sleep in. Um, full moon over and full effect. The moon will also connect to Neptune in the afternoon around 2 p.m. Pacific time. So take time through the day to connect in and daydream. The first card I connected to or I pulled for this is the uh, hermit card, the aloneness card. Spending some time in your own energy, meditating, connecting into the universe, connecting into your guides, connecting into your higher self, connecting into God in you, God universe in you, can go so far in this energy and help you as you are moving through any of the churning waters of this full moon energy. Um, the moon is also, speaking of churning waters, going to connect to Pluto 5.30 p.m. So I think a lot of, a lot of what we've been moving through right now is or our power plays going on in the world, in and through ourselves, being aware of that. And again, reminding yourself of your natural divine power will help you move through this energy. The moon then goes void um, until it shifts into Aries at almost midnight Pacific time. So take it easy on yourself today. Sun and Uranus will build into a trine tomorrow, an exact trine on Sunday. So that Uranus energy is keeping going, taking time to grind, grind. My brain is very tired right now <laughs> in this Mercury retrograde, not making it easy on me with words. Take time to ground. <laughs> Maybe you do need to like Grind in a little bit to the earth, you know, to open up the passageways. So maybe that's what the universe was saying through me. Who knows? <laughs> um, but definitely triggery energy, very uh, mental. I would say for this weekend, don't rush things. Uh, and just watch because chances are values, money, all of that is going to be triggered as we move through this. Um Beyond the Hermit card, spending time in our own energy, we also have the Guidance card. Listening to, again, like I said, the higher guidance to help us move through our day, which is moment to moment. You know, let yourself be guided not by somebody else's flow, but really by your flow to help you move through this. Um, get out of the shoulds and into your flow. The Morality card is definitely one of my shoulds card. The other card that I have, I love this Ordinariness is, hey, there's a lot of miracles and good things happening around, but sometimes we need to open up our eyes to those miracles and good things. So it's spending time looking for the joy, looking for God in the oxygen around you, God in the universe around you, God in the nature around you, and God within you so that you can see the blessings that are literally pouring in right now. So <laughs> that's it for today. Happy full moon. Um, you can book a reading with me. Email me for that, mimiclark at gmail.com. And the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power and honor your values. Namaste.